British Columbia. It's known worldwide for its vast forest lands. About two-thirds of the province's 95 million hectares are dominated by trees. Winding through these forests are stream corridors. The unique band of plants and soils that exist along streams is called the riparian zone. Riparian corridors are rarely utilised for cultivation, yet can provide multiple benefits to landowners when managed with care. In the West Kootenay region of British Columbia rests the Slocan Valley, where innovative and environmentally friendly agriculture and forestry are common. A small family-owned woodlot embarked on a novel agroforestry system, integrating the riparian zones with the production of natural forest products. A bee yard, which houses up to 10 hives, provides honey and wax, both of which are in great demand. The bee yard is situated in a forest opening surrounded by three perennial streams within forested riparian zones. The streams are very small, but they provide important habitat to a variety of life forms. We love our streams. One of them originates from an underground spring just a few hundred feet above us. We draw our drinking water from it and we won't be harvesting from our riparian zones to ensure we maintain the integrity of our water. Protecting small streams also ensures water quality for water users downstream and the greater health of Slocan Lake's pristine waters and the river it drains to. With riparian butters arise opportunities for compatible uses within the stream corridors besides drinking water. We became aware of an increasing demand for natural herbal products through a regional herb producers co-op. After a lot of research, we selected three shrubs to establish in our riparian zones. The berries of tall Oregon grape are used in food products and the bark has medicinal properties. It is a popular shrub for landscaping. The bark of cascara has been used in natural medicine. Although many consider it a shrub, it grows up to heights of 10 meters. High bush cranberry also has valuable medicinal bark. Its berries too are very popular in food products. The selection of these plants was based on several key factors. A market demand for the products exists. Each species is perennial, requiring low maintenance. Flowers are attractive to bees, thus complementing honey production. Each plant is native to the region, thus they are likely to thrive in the local climate and be resistant to insects and disease. What excites me about this particular agroforestry system is how the components interact so well together. The bees, the stream, and the shrubs all benefit each other. The wooded riparian zone actually creates a windbreak which is important during the winter for the hives. On hot days the bees are collecting and drinking water from the streams and I think berry production benefits from having all these bees here. This integrated design is a hallmark of agroforestry systems, a management approach that integrates familiar and new agriculture and forestry practices into land management systems which contribute to diversification and sustainability of production. I think agroforestry can be a great fit for small landowners with streams here in British Columbia. Uh, we can respect our riparian zones by harvesting trees outside the buffers, but still get lots of benefits from the stream sides, like shrubs and their products and honey and wildlife and clean, perpetual drinking water.